Today's video is sponsored by One Football. Get all the latest updates from the Premier League and hundreds of other top fixtures from around the world, as well as the latest scores, videos, fixtures, stats, and more for everything related to football. Link is in the description. So welcome ladies and gentlemen, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to sort of update your game uh, or copy of pairs on PC so that it works with all the latest updates, right? 4.0 is out and we know what happens there, a lot of things get messed up and it's a nightmare. But for me personally, I haven't had too many issues. Normally I do get a system sort of misconfiguration error where the edit data isn't the same as the version and it won't load and all that. But for me personally, I haven't really had that problem. So this is my folder right now. I'll just show you what is happening, what we have going on. So you guys have a bit of a rough idea. Yours may look similar, it may not. It won't look actually the same because I've added a lot of extra stuff. Uh, but obviously you'll have the, the general files. So you'll have the Steam files, you'll have the PES EXE files, uh, some of these scripts right here as well, DLL files, uh, or DLL files. And then you'll have a data folder with all the CPKs. Uh, this is actually how you add gameplay mods. This is the file right here, the DT18 one. As you can see, I have a backup uh, of older versions, but I always like to keep handy. But ultimately, the one that is coded like this with nothing after it is the one that you will use. And then you have a download folder as well. Uh, and this is where you'll start adding extra mods. So I'm going to try and walk you through it. It's not that difficult, to be honest, if, you, if you're coming from, um, you know, Data Pack 3. This is primarily for people that have not you know just started pairs is for people that know about mods and and the gist of it because otherwise this video would be so so long so let me show you guys the actual file that i'm using or the option file okay so this is the one i'm using currently pairs multiverse 4.0 all right that was released now he's actually got a little bit of a fix if you head over there i'll leave all the links i can in the description to make it as easy as possible and hopefully i remember uh, but he's got a bit of a fix right here that you can go ahead and download or you can just grab it from the description. It works for me. I've had no problems at all. So let's dive into what we've got to do first of all to get everything sorted out. So I'll move this to the other side. So I've got two files right here. Or oh, these are, you know, two folders. This is just later for the turf. So file-wise, this is what I'm going to be adding to the copy right now, Okay. We just do like this much easier. So we've got data back four. Okay, so this is the file list generator. We are going to update this so that it works. The mods will work and everything works cush deep. Um, then we're going to got the edit file, the updated edit file for the option file. I'm going to put that in there. Uh, this is an updated exe file. If you want to use Inkers' uh, gameplay tweak, this is an update. Okay, I like his gameplay because it slows it down a little bit. So I'm going to be using that. Cider, this is the important part because Cider is primarily what makes everything else run. Uh, and if you don't install it correctly, you just won't get the goodies that you want. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. We've got a new turf update as well. We're going to whack that in there. We've also got some video ads or some ad boards in a video format. So they're animated. They look pretty cool. I'm going to be putting them in there. There's a lot. I mean, that's like a 5 gig file there. It's, it's pretty large in size. And then we've got the zoom disabler as well. We're going to disable any zooming we have in game because it's a pain in the backside. So let's start off with the DP file list generator. So we are going to go to our main PES folder. Let's can make this a little bit more enclosed. There we go. Uh, so we're going to go to download. Okay. And we have these two files right now. I can actually probably delete some of these. Because um, I believe this is the same file that I was using. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete that because it's easier. And I'm going to delete that one too. Okay. So say we have nothing in there. Okay. I'm going to grab this file. I'm going to copy and paste it. Don't want to drag it in case i do lose it so we've copied it over there it is magic and these are all the files itself this is how you run dp file list generator uh, it will say that it's not in the right place anymore you can see the cpk path is wrong and so is this one so that is going to need to be addressed so we'll go to choose path I've done all this before. If you've ever watched any of my other tutorials, uh, they're all there to see. It's just new updates come out, things get messed up, and we have to go in there and redo them. So we'll find the main folder. We'll go to common. We'll find pairs. 
and then from here we want to go to download uh, and that is where the cpk files are click ok there you go they've all loaded up that's what should happen everything inside your download folder should load up if done correctly and these are the updates okay this is version 1 you can see 1.1 1.2 3 version 2 data pack 3 and data pack 4 you have to have data pack 4 if you don't have this you need to go into the game and let the game update the game itself that's a lot of games uh, before it will show you the newly updated data pack and the file list itself is going to basically be in the same location as you can see there it is it's already done so we'll click this one this is just a backup made in case things go wonky and there we have it now one thing you always have to remember to do i would save your selection first change the dlc to 4.0 now i'm going to start adding more stuff so i'm not worried about it right this moment but i will go ahead and hit generate either way just to make sure it does generate and i can exit out and it's saved okay so that's that's step number one out the way now let's move over we'll do the edit of the option file later i'm not really worried too much about that let's do the simple one here the exe file so we go back to the main one here it is you can basically just delete this or you can make a backup i have backups under another folder it's called other exe so inside here this is the original file i don't touch it just in case things go bad i can always use that one and this is an old incas file that he updated as well so we'll just go ahead and delete this one and we can copy and paste this one in there and there we have it so that's done quick and easy on to the next one so now we have CIDR 5.13. This is the important one that you have to remember to do. Now, I don't know if you have to move every single file, uh, folder. Apparently, you don't have to do them all, but to be safe, I do, apart from one file. I keep this one because this file has all the edits you made previously, and I don't want to lose them. If you compare this one to the one that they have right here, you will notice that this one is missing a lot of stuff this has all the evo switches in here this one has very minimal okay so keep your original file okay so you can copy everything except for this one don't copy the bottom one leave that alone hit command hit v and replace them bang done and uh, if you go back to this one you'll see it's saved so i didn't ruin that one it's fine and it works nicely so that is done moving on now we're going to do the turf which is ever so slightly different actually before we do the turf let's do the video ads so we have the ads these are all cpk files which is how i'm going to be running these so what we have to do is go to the download folder copy these and uh, simply whack them in there now it's quite a big file depending on your speed etc it might take a bit of time that was done pretty quick so there we have it you should have one two three four five six and they all have to be in a specific order in the file list generator so we'll do that afterwards now we can go back and go to the zoom disabler very important because this thing is a nightmare otherwise no one wants to zoom feature in broadcast camera it's horrendous so we'll go ahead and delete these two other ones that i have they're not needed they're for uh they should be for 1.3 if i click on them you can see there it is actually pez version 1.3.0.1 data pack 3 okay so this wouldn't work it would not work with the latest data pack go ahead and delete that if you have it if you don't and you don't have to worry about it we're going to go ahead and grab these two we're going to copy and we're going to paste them now we can open this up there it is version 1.4 data pack 4 make sure you click the disable button and broadcast camera zoom disabled it's done you can click it a few times just to check just to check ocd kicks in and bang there we have it so that's primarily the main things done and we do will do the turf so let's go ahead and do that that one's slightly different because i am running my turf through cider and not as a cpk the reason being as i have a stadium server set up and i will do a tutorial for that but it's a longer process so that is why uh, I'm, I'm not doing that right now so we'll come back to that at a later date i just wanted to check something real quick so i do have a turf folder right here but what i'm going to do i'm actually going to go ahead and delete that 
I'm going to delete that just so uh, I can do it for you guys and you can see how it's done. If you aren't using CIDR, you can simply go to download, okay? And you can put this file in here. You can drag and drop it. If you're not using CIDR and you're using just the Farlish generator, do it that way. If you're doing it like myself, uh, which is with CIDR, where you create a folder, etc., this is what you need to do. So we'll go to files again. Uh, turf we will open up this file right here CRI file system is a, a very important thing for basically ripping out CPK files you go to the CRI packed file maker double click and there we have it now you can simply drag bomb put that in there there it is all these files are gonna be sort of extracted and done and all the fun stuff's gonna happen uh, then what we can do is go ahead we can actually just create another folder on the desktop and call that turf okay we're gonna call it turf because it's the turf i actually have another file called turf all right well we'll call it new turf okay makes it easier so new turf is there so we can now hit this little button right there there it is and up pops the folder that you want to browse to so we'll go to our desktop we'll find new turf and I'll click OK. And then yes. See, it's extracting and it's complete. Click OK. Exit out of these. We don't need these anymore. And we can actually see there it is. Get rid of this one. So this is the folder we have. We can double click on that. And there it is. You should have asset inside that model, background, and all the different surfs are inside of here. What you want to do, very simple open up your root folder again and from here we're gonna whack this turf straight in there okay so we're gonna actually you know what we need to uh, well we can just well, we'll make a new folder for the sake of it so new folder we're gonna name this turf now we can go into this folder grab the asset folder okay that's the one you need and paste it inside Bang, done. There we go. Now it's a simple case of going into CIDR and simply making sure that those two are linked. So we would go down to the file we had before, configuration file, open that up. Now I already have it set up as you can see, but you would simply type this cpk.root space equals space quote dot forward slash turf and then close the quotes okay that will now basically try and find that folder and add any kind of turfs that you want to put inside of the game that works for any folder as you can see here i also have a faces folder which has a ton of faces uh, as you can see all new faces and it pulls out all that information and puts it inside of the game so we've got one for that. I've also got a 3D grass that I added in there as well. So these are just the three I'm using. I'm using the stadium server, as I spoke to before, for my stadiums. That's why you don't see any stadium folders or, or anything right here. Because if you go into content, stadium server, here we go. This is all the, the stadiums I have. I'm going to be adding more later. Uh, but you've got the pack here with all the Old Traffords, the Emirates, or not the Emirates, but Old Trafford, Stamford Bridge. I think the Bernabeu is in there. Or oh, there it is right there. And then all the rest of them. So that's my stadiums are set up differently. I will do a tutorial on how to do that. So everything now looks good. Um, so do that. Type in turf. And then obviously click file save. And then shut that one down. Now the final step is pretty much to sort the file generator out. So we go to download. Inside of this folder. And we open it up. Like we did before. And now we can start adding whatever we need to add. So I'm going to start ticking some boxes. So I want my faces pack in there. I'll have the boot pack. I mean, you basically put in whatever you need to. Some of these are obsolete now, like the De Gea face, because I'm using something else. The combined ad boards, I'm going to be using different ads. So, I mean, like I say, whatever you guys need, put it in there. I can't even remember now what I had in here, to be fair. Uh, now, when it comes to the chart pack as well... Don't use this license all teams will mess you up. Um, I don't know how well the charts are going to work. I will put these two files in there because this is the specific one for my option file. And this is just sort of one that goes with it. Uh, face pack. 
I mean, I already have a face pack, so that's uh, that's not really needed. Font numbers, yes. We want to have the updated fonts. Font, face tattoo, sure, we'll put that in there. Uh, I do have a glove pack as well. Balls, we do have another ball pack that I'm using, but we could definitely stick that in there too. Now, when it comes to the other files for the ad boards, this is the order they need to go in. Okay, so first of all, we want to have the Evo Web ads. So we need to find those, and they are somewhere right here, down the bottom. So we'll tick that first. That's number one. After that, we need Dr. D Europe add-on version one. That goes next. After that, you need the um, EWAB add-on. So right there, version two. After that, you will put Dr. Europe add version two. Uh, after that, we'll go back to this one, version three. And then finally, underneath that, Evo adds six. Okay, they have to be in this order from here. This one, then this one, this, 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 and then this. Otherwise, you will have issues. And I think I'll add this mini faces pack in there as well. Trophies and all that we can obviously worry about later. So that is the gist of it. It is in there. It's done. It should now officially work without a problem. So, of course, we'll hit that generate the file list. Make sure, again, we're on DLC 4.0. Everything's good. Generate it and click OK. And we can exit out of that. So that now, ladies and gentlemen, should be enough to get us in the game and get us cider. We can use the broadcast camera. We'll have the turf. We'll have the ad boards in there. And the scoreboards will be in there as well. So let's dive into the game and make sure it's running the way it should be. Okay, one thing I actually forgot to do, and I just realized, is update the edit file. So we actually have to go to Documents, uh, Konami, uh, let's go to Pairs, go to this gibberish number, Save File, uh, and this is where you are going to grab that edit file. This is only, though, if you're using that option file. If you're not, then I don't know exactly what you'll need to do because I don't have anything else. I'm using multiverse. So if you're using multiverse, then do this. If not, you have to find another way. You may not even have to do this, uh, but we're just going to simply copy and paste it. If you want to back up your edit file, you can go ahead and do so. I don't need to do it. Uh, I've made plenty of backups before. So replace that file. Of course, it will lose my Manchester United kits that I had for Master League. That's no problem. I can always add those right back. But that is now everything done. So we have pretty much added the data pack or the uh, DT file list, updated the option file, added a new EXE, updated CIDR, added a turf pack, uh, put in some video animated ad boards, and disabled the zoom for data pack 4. So let's get into the game and see what's happened. Okay, before I do get in the game, let me show you how to start it up, obviously, correctly. Make sure you do click on Evo Switcher. Don't start it from PES 2019. I like to go through this way. You click yes. Up pops this little box. Uh, if you want to do any tweaks and enable or disable the game speed, you have that option of doing so. This is faster. This is slower. I just leave it off, personally. I think it's it works well with Incas's EXE file. Uh, go to main and then simply click play game. It will load up and you're in business okay so we're in the game now as you can see the top left we have data pack 4 version 1.04 so we can go ahead and get into the game uh, and just double check that everything is working well so you shouldn't have any problems here it's just say system data loading edit data loading if you get a compatibility issue the chances are one of your cpk files may not have been updated to 4.0 so you may have to do a bit of trial and error um sort of enabling one disabling another one so yeah that, that's probably the problem i mean if you've ever run a wordpress site and you know that plugins are an issue it's kind of like that you've got to turn one off turn one on and figure out what is causing the compatibility problem for me we obviously haven't got it so now let's have a look at uh, everything and make sure it's working out well so I'll obviously run the live update, which we're not too worried about. I'm going to probably turn that off anyway. But either way, you can see we have the Premier League badges are there. The teams are all there. Let's actually turn this off so the teams are in alphabetical order. So say we went to uh, Everton, for instance, and then we played against Newcastle United. You can see the kits should be all nicely done, so there's no problem there. Now, when it comes to the stadiums, I, as you can see, I'm not 
I'm not having all of them, right? If only 51. Obviously, we have Ibrox and Celtic Park, so they're there. But it's not showing any of the other ones, the newly created ones. It's because the way I do it, I do it through the stadium server. So if you hit spacebar now, there it is. It pops up. That means Evo Switcher, uh, ugh, Evo Switcher is working efficiently. Um, and you can scour through them. And, it, and because I used my original CIDR configuration file and I didn't overwrite it, I still have saved everything else um, from before. So we can go in here, we can hit 9 on the keyboard, and we can change this to, say, Goodison Park. Okay, so that's all done. We can go to General Settings. Of course, we've got a few extra balls that we've added um, as a CPK, so we can use different ones if you wish for instance we have there the Merlin Premier League ball so we can put that in everything else looks good now let's dive into the game and you will see we have everything there overlays ad boards all looking the part so you can see we have Goodison Park the music was there we've got the ad boards around we've got the scoreboards it's basically the same so now we're on data pack 4 with evo switcher working without actually having to update evo switcher or do anything to it um, you literally you don't have to do anything to evo switcher at all it's all about adding cider and any of the other files you want to add you just have to make sure whatever you put in your folders and files are updated otherwise you will have that compatibility problem uh, that we saw but you can see the ad boards behind you um, animated looking classy so I will leave the link to all of these goodies in the description check them out follow along if you have any problems let me know hopefully someone will be able to help you or I'll try help myself um, we won't play any real gameplay here but you can see the camera angle is, is beautiful so you know it just looks fantastic and uh, yeah it is uh, hunky dory so there we have it ladies and gentlemen any problems let me know but that is ultimately how you update the game to 4.0 and make sure everything is still working as uh, we're going to have a strike from distance uh, but there let me know your thoughts below we'll be back surely uh, when it comes to football manager i'm hopefully going to get some sort of a football manager going we'll have to wait and see uh, time is just so limited right now and obviously i want to get back into the mass league football as well but until next time take care